What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking some more custom cars. Let's just get right into this. So if you guys watched the last video where I'm ranking customized cars, then you guys would know that these are cars that I've actually seen in person in car shows over the past five years and that I've taken pictures of. So I'm basically going to be going through all of the cars that I have and I'm going to be ranking them along the way, sharing what I like about them and talking about cars because as you guys know, I am a car guy. So enough talking, let's get into this video. Up first is this nice orange Ford. I honestly like that there is no hood. It looks really customized. I like the orange. It looks nice. The black vinyl roof. With the angle, you can't really see the interior, which sucks, but I like that it has a truck bed on it. It looks really customized. The engine looks awesome with a nice chrome. I'm going to rank this one a solid 8 out of 10. It just all looks complete, and it looks really nice, and I like the rims as well. Next up is, ooh, I like this. Now, in the last video, there was a car that was similar to the color but it was a little bit lighter of a color this looks like i want to say if i had you guess like a uh, burnt copper or maybe just a copper with a little bit more bronze look into it it looks nice i like the headlights you can't see the rims unfortunately but the engine the way that the hood is lifting up the engine just looks phenomenal it is a white interior i'm actually going to rank this one a little higher than the last vehicle I'm going to rank this one at an 8.5 out of 10 just because I like it. It looks like it would be a chopped top. Now, you can't tell because the roof isn't up on it, but it kind of looks chopped, and I like chopped vehicles if they're done right. So 8.5 out of 10. Next up, I'm not going to lie, I like this coupe. Um, it is a little bit of a basic paint job with the silver, but I like how it is a custom hood. As you guys can see, the ventilation on the hood itself. I like the engine it just looks phenomenal it looks mean it looks aggressive it has the eyes on it which is kind of funny it is cartoonish but it does look nice and complete i'm assuming with the hood down it will stick out pretty far so it does look nice it is a nice chrome engine but the paint job itself is pretty simple and pretty plain it's just a silver i would have liked some if they're going to go with a simple silver paint job some ghost flames would have added so much more to this car so i'm going to rank this one 7 out of 10 just because it looks nice with the engine, but the paint job is pretty simple for me. Next is a Camaro. I honestly don't know how I feel about this. Um, I'll start off with the rims. The rims look nice. I do like them. They're nice customized. The interior is nice and black. The engine bay looks awesome with the high performance parts, the chrome. I like that it is silver, and I like the racing stripe down the center, the blue racing stripe. That looks all good. What I don't like is the side. I like that it does have the 454 on it, but the blue and the black on the side, to me, just looks a little oddly misplaced. Um, it's not really customized other than that. That looks really odd. Because of that, I'm going to give this one a 5.5 out of 10 because that the siding just throws it all off for me, unfortunately. Next up is another chopped vehicle. This looks like a Mercury, if I had to guess. I like that it's almost a murdered out vehicle it has nice window tint it has a nice black clean classic paint job it is a chopped top but i do like the white wheeled uh, tires and i do like the red rims they kind of flow together and it to me completes this vehicle now you can't see because of the huge radiator you can't see much of the engine but this looks complete this looks really aggressive I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 as well. It just looks really nice. Next, as you guys know, I am a Chevelle guy. I do like Chevelles. This is a brighter yellow than I would have liked on it, but it looks nice. Again, you can't tell if this has a racing stripes, the classic Chevelle racing stripes or not. You can't really tell on it, but it does look nice regardless. I do like the rims. They're nice classic muscle car rims. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. I'm not going to rank it too high like I did in the last video with Chevelles because it looks pretty simple for a Chevelle. Next up is this nice purple. I'm going to say I like this shade. Um, I can't really tell what it is what like, if I were to describe the shade, but I do like this purple. The engine bay looks phenomenal. It looks nice. It looks aggressive. No hood on certain vehicles like this from that era look nice. And this all flows together because you really want to show off 
the engine for this vehicle. I do like how it is a vinyl roof on it. It looks nice. I do like that it isn't a coupe or anything like that, but the rims throw it off completely. I just noticed the rims right now. I don't like, they're, they're kind of like a plain look. They don't really have that much depth to them. They have the odd flame on them where there's no flames anywhere else on this vehicle. The rims throw it off for me. I was going to rank this one high until I noticed the rims. 6.5 out of 10 for me. I can't rank it much higher than that, unfortunately. Next up is this nice van. It looks phenomenal. It, of course, is an automotive glass, uh, like a classic auto glass vehicle. It looks nice. That's why the paint job is kind of two-tone because it's for marketing, I would assume. Um, it looks nice and clean and crisp. The rims, everything looks original on this vehicle. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 just because it looks all appropriate for the era, but there's nothing customized other than the paint job, but it looks like that is the company the classic auto glass company that it was representing i think that's why they did that next is this nice truck honestly it looks phenomenal i like this arab truck as well i like a lot of trucks from classic trucks anyways i like the paint job i like the rims the classic chrome rims they look nice for this truck the interior you can't really tell it kind of looks like a red but you can't really tell with the interior with the glare on that windshield the engine bay looks phenomenal, a nice chrome. I'm going to rank this one a 7.5 out of 10. As you guys know, as because I just mentioned, I like trucks. So this one really, everything for me flows together. Next is a really cool Volkswagen Beetle. And as you guys know, I think I've mentioned this before, I do like the Beetles, but I like them done right, customized, really nice, sleek looking, or maybe classic, but not over the top. This one looks a little bit of a combination of everything that I just described. It is a little bit of an over-the-top vehicle because it does look like they turned it into a truck, but then they put a truck cap on the back. I like the pinstriping on the truck cap. It looks nice. It is a Beetle, so it is small. The rims, I can't really tell if they're from an actual Beetle or if they're trying to make it look like truck rims. Regardless, the pinstriping, the color choice is awesome. The interior looks just like a cloth black interior the rims are nice with the black if they were chrome it looked a little bit odd but i like how they're blacked out this honestly looks nice i'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 just because i like beetles and this one isn't too bad it's not too over the top for me next is this nice coupe i believe it's a ford i like the orange it does look nice um there is a lot of orange vehicles i'm finding though it does have a nice shade of orange though. It's a painted roof, not a vinyl roof like some have been. It looks like a black interior, but you like black leather interior, but you can't really tell because it's not really a high interior for this vehicle. The hood is kind of covering most of the engine, but it just to me looks stock. It's not really chrome. It's not really customized, but this looks like it's down to point with that era. It looks all like classic parts. It's not really over the top, not really customized. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. And I'm going to say this is going to be the last vehicle for this video. This is a nice coupe. I like this one more than the last. It is a really nice coupe. I like the headlights. I think that are stock headlights. They just flow with the vehicle. The front grille, to me, kind of looks a little bit more customized, which I do like customized car. It's cars, hence is why I'm doing this video or doing these videos. It looks like a nice brown interior, kind of like a leather or maybe a vinyl interior. It looks nice. It flows together. The rims look amazing, even though they don't look like this era of rims for this vehicle. I like the chrome and I like that they look customized. Everything, honestly, for this vehicle looks awesome. I am a fan. I do like this. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I don't know if I ranked anything else close to that for this vehicle, for this video. I can't remember. But uh, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. So comment down below which of all of these vehicles I shared in this video, which one you liked the most. I hope you guys are enjoying this mini series I'm doing on my channel because as you guys know, I like cars. I like talking about cars. I like customized cars. And I like sharing my thoughts on a lot of these vehicles that I'm finding and going back and going through all the videos. Or sorry, all the photos that I've taken from car shows over the past few years. And that's why I wanted to start this series. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.